Hello everyone. So the next topic which we will be discussing here is about the carotenoids. So what do you understand by the carotenoids? So carotenoids, they are the pigments in plants, algae and photosynthetic bacteria. So what are they? They are the pigments that are present in the plants, the algae and the photosynthetic bacteria. So these pigments, they produce the bright yellow, red and orange color in plants, vegetables and fruits. So carotenoids, they act as a type of antioxidant for the human. So the carotenoids, they are the type of antioxidant. Let's start with the discussion first. That they are the pigments in the plants, algae and photosynthetic bacteria. This we have already discussed. These pigments, they produce the bright yellow, red and orange colors in plants, vegetables and fruits. They act as a type of antioxidant for the humans. So, they are the type of antioxidant for the humans. There are more than 600 type of carotenoids which are present and some can be converted into vitamin A when released into the body. So a few of the carotenoids includes the alpha carotenine, then beta carotenine, then lutein, lycopene, etc. So carotenoids, they must be consumed through the diet. So they are the best, they are best absorbed through the source of fats. So the foods that are rich in carotenoids include the spinach, watermelon, tomatoes, carrots, mangoes, etc. So these were the foods. Now, before starting with the types of carotenoids, we will first discuss that how do these carotenoids work. So the carotenoids, they are the fat soluble compounds meaning they are best absorbed with fat. So unlike some protein rich foods and vegetables, cooking and chopping carotenoid rich foods increase the strength of the nutrients when they enter the bloodstream. So carotenoids, they are being classified into two types, that is the xanthophils and the carotenes. So both the types of the carotenoids have antioxidant properties. So in addition, some carotenoids can be converted to vitamin A. So some carotenoids can be converted to vitamin A, which is an essential component for the human health and growth. So these pro-vitamin A carotenoids include the alpha carotenine, beta carotenine, um, non-procarotenine A carotenoids include the lutein, zithane and the lycopene. Now, first we will be talking about the xanthophils and then uh, afterwards the carotenoids. So, xanthophils, they are easily recognized by the yellow coloration. So, there is a, uh, this particular gives the yellow color to the plant. So, this is a pigment which gives yellow color to the plant and they are present in high quantities in the leaves. Xanthophil carotenoids protect you from too much of the sunlight. So they are most associated with eye health. So they are most associated with eye health. And lutein and zeatin, they fall under the xanthophil category. So foods that fall under the xanthophil category include Kale, spinach, summer squash, pumpkin, avocado, yellow flesh fruits, corn and yolk. So these are some of the fruits that are rich in the xanthophils, which is a type of the carotene. The next type comes the carotenes, which are also carotenoids. So carotenes, they unlike the xanthophils, they are carotenoids with no oxygen atom. So the carotenes, they do not have the oxygen atom. They reflect mostly red and orange light. So, what they reflect? They reflect mostly red and orange light. 
so carotenes are responsible for the color of everything from the carrots to sweet potatoes so these are an accessory pigment that work by transferring the energy they gather from the light into chlorophyll and which can then be used to store energy in the form of the glucose now the foods that are rich in carotene includes the carrot sweet potato papaya pumpkin tomato and winter squash so these are the foods that are rich in carotene now the examples of the carotene includes the beta carotene and the lutein so these are the examples of the carotenes so beta like the beta carotene it is specific carotenoid which is found in red is found in the plants and the fruits it is it has a red orange it has a red orange coloration when isolated so beta carotenin is the most common carotenin which is found in plants and in humans and other animals beta carotenin becomes a precursor for vitamin a and must be consumed in the diet for the survival so beta carotenin is found in carrots pumpkins sweet potatoes and even green leafy veg uh, green leafy vegetables like spinach kale and if this uh, beta carotene if it is been over consumed then it will not expressly harmful uh, but it will leave the skin with an orange coloration as the carotenoid is stored in the fat layer which is just above the skin so this is what is the beta carotene the next is about the so the next is about the lutein so what is it so lutein it is a xanthophyll what is it it is a xanthophyll which is found in the green leafy plants and it is yellow colored pigment what is it it is a yellow colored pigment so xanthophyll was yellow colored so this is as well as yellow colored uh it beta uh, beta yellow color to egg yolk and yellow carrots so like all the carotenoids it is synthesized in plants so like animals they can store the pigment in the fat and the recent studies have shown that it may have some function in the human eye as well so diseases like muscular degeneration may be caused by the body's inability to incorporate and use the carotenoids like the lutein so this was about the types and examples next comes is the health benefits of the carotenoids so carotenoids they are the beneficial antioxidants which means they can protect you from diseases and enhance your immune system as well so pro vitamin a carotenoids can be converted into vitamin a which is essential for growth immune system function and eye health so this is the health benefit of the carotenoid so first we will be discussing the eye health cancer all of these in detail now so first i will talk about is the eye health so eating carotenoid rich foods can protect healthy cells in the eyes and prevent the food of prevent the growth of the cancerous cells so one of the leading causes of blindness is macular degeneration or the degeneration of the center of the right retina so long term blue light exposure can cause this and negatively affect the delicate part of the eye however the carotenoid lutein and xanthin found in the retina can help to absorb the blue light so studies they have shown that at least 6 mg of lutein in your diet a day can decrease your risk of developing this disease by 43% the next comes is the cardiovascular disease so carotenoids as we have studied they are the antioxidants and they lower the inflammation in the body 
so it is still being researched that carotenoids anti inflammatory properties have been associated with improving cardiovascular health so reducing the inflammation helps to protect against heart diseases and prevents the arterial walls from being blocked so this is what is the function of carotenoids in the cardiovascular health the next comes is the cancer so antioxidants they protect the cells from free radicals or substances that destroy or damage the cell membranes so increasing the carotenoids via your diet can increase the amount of antioxidants and protective cells in your body so this is the significant this is significant when battling cancer and may be able to prevent cancer growth so carotenoids they have been associated with the lowering risk of cancer especially the lung cancer so when you smoke the cigarettes cigarettes you ingest harmful chemicals that destroy the healthy cells though mixed in results one study showed a small decrease in results and the one study showed a small decrease in the risk of lung cancer when incorporating the carotenoids in your diet so it is even healthier to stop the smoking and increase carotenoids in your diet to help your lungs heal as as you move past the addiction so yes this was all about the carotenoids these are some of the differences thank you